In England, the air show at Farnborough is off to a flying start. By the end of the first day, Airbus and Boeing had announced 189 orders. That's more than double the total from last year. Bloomberg's Rashad Salamat is there with the latest fish. Yeah, absolutely. On the civil side, we're seeing some great orders coming through for Airbus and Boeing. Lots of business being done. Middle Eastern carriers are pretty dominant. But it does come at a time when we've seen Washington cut back on defense. And as a result of that, we've got more and more companies looking abroad now, or looking internationally, actually, uh, for work, for contracts, and for the bottom line as well. And joining me now is one such company, is Raytheon International's chief executive, Tom Culligan. Tom, thanks for joining Thank us. You so much. Great to see you again. Thank you. Good to see you. It's all about looking elsewhere now, right. isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Raytheon is very fortunate in that we already are one of the largest international sales uh, companies in the U.S. aerospace and defense industry. So we really have great opportunity, and we continue, we plan to continue to grow that in the next several years. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to Northrop Grumman's boss uh, just yesterday, and he was saying that anybody who's looking for top-line growth out of the U.S. has got to be kidding. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because we're not we're not abandoning in any way or backing off on our U.S. Because in our core areas, areas where we really specialize, we're showing above market growth even in the U.S. market. So those those sub markets are actually pretty good, but the international market's even better as we go forward, especially the Middle East and Asia. Yeah. So when we look at okay, Taiwan, for instance, upgrade of uh, Patriot right. System, Saudi right. Arabia, looking at that. Where are you with that? Well, we continue. We've got sort of a rebirth of the Patriot program, upgrading all the systems, and because there is a greater threat, a missile uh, threat around the world, and uh, the, the Patriot system is, uh, we've worked very hard, invested a lot of our own money in it over the last several years so that we can upgrade the radars, upgrade the software, and upgrade the, the missile systems to, to meet the threat of tomorrow. Yeah, what, what do you look at particularly? What, what's new out there for you, which you're trying to sell here? Well, you know, we have a, we've, you know, over the last several years, we've invested a lot in up, uh, making our technology more exportable. So we have more things to offer the international market, a higher technology. We can take that and put it into assets that they already have and upgrade those systems to, to almost new, almost modern generation uh, capability. So, so tell me about some of the uh, components we're looking at and what we're actually uh, you know, what sort of systems you are upgrading and what you're looking at? Well, you've already mentioned uh, Patriot, which uh, we talked about, but in particular, the, uh, we call it a racer radar, RACR. It is, a, it is taking the electronically scanned radar, a, new, a whole new concept, much better acuity, uh, and taking that in the exportable market. And so you can go to, to pro, uh, airplanes, fighters like the older F-16s, put in new systems, uh, new electronic systems, new radars, and make them very capable for uh, today's threat and the future threat. Okay, and you know, with all of this in mind, do you actually feel right now that this this is the time for defense? This is the bottom now, or do you see the bottom looking six months to a year? Well, we're more optimistic than that. I, th I think uh, every country here in the United Kingdom right now they're going through a major uh, relook. The United States is going to go through a relook. But at the same time, other markets are growing and even faster. As I said, like the Middle East and Asia, have very solid markets. So, you know, it's a balancing act, but uh, but there's great opportunity out there. Okay, and uh, you know, when we look at the market segmentation, you talk about Asia, you talk about the Middle East as well here. You know, how much are they going to be growing for you as a business? How much are you projecting looking ahead? Let's say half a decade. Well, we just uh, we think there's going to continue to be substantial growth. I, I can't give you a percentage right now, but uh, above. Uh, well above inflation, even even substantially more. So you know, and since we're already in those markets, and we have products that can either go in new platforms or older platforms, make them even better. Uh, that just means that there's going to be greater growth there for throughout. Tom, appreciate your time. It's a short notice as well. Tom, Tom Culligan there, he's the Raytheon International's chief executive. Just talking about the defense market, really, in this age of austerity and these budget budget cuts, particularly in defense.